Um, now we get into the main marketing Monday, which is the most hated brands in the world. Now this is a mini marketing Monday, but basically I have a map that we're going to look at here of the most hated brand in every country. This was measured by negative comments about the brand on social media. That's what it was. Okay. For example, one of the consistently most hated brands in the entire country is Comcast. People, people that actually use the product consistently hate it because it's a dominant monopoly that overcharges and under delivers on service. But Comcast is not on this list because people don't complain too much on social media. They just actually hate the company. What do you think the most hated brand in America is? No, the answer is Uber. <laughs> Uber is the most hated brand in America. Canada, Sony. Canadians complain about Sony more than any other brand on social media. Taiwan hates Tesla, based. I, South Korea hates YouTube. <laughs> China hates Porsche. <laughs> Russia hates PayPal. Uh, but you'll notice the, the number one worldwide is Sony. And so I looked into it, and it's most people just complaining about the defective Sony product they got, or some bad Sony product. So let me give you an example. But high up in the United States is Lego. Lego is one of the quote unquote most hated brands due to this methodology. And it's because people on social media were writing that they stepped on Legos negatively. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Lego is actually a beloved brand, but because people were like F Legos, I stepped on one. It, it got so many negative posts that it was ranked as one of the most hated brands. So again, this is not the greatest methodology, but it's a general gist for who's getting talked about who's getting talked, you know, Brazil hates Red Bull, which I thought was shocking. And again, just the amount of Sony's you see around the, around the country. Finland hates Ferrari. I guess they are kind of like Ferrari seems like not what Finland is about. Finland is all about like egalitarian, uh, low wealth gap. <laughs> I feel like if you were to ride around in a Ferrari in Finland, people would think you are the world's biggest douchebag. You do not fit in, in like this flat society. Is Amazon only hated in one country? That's Germany. That's actually crazy. Kind of powerful of Germany to stand up to Amazon. Amazon is actually, uh, in America, the number one most loved brand. There's a score called the NPS, which is your net promoter score, which means your, how likely you are to recommend this service to someone else after you've used it. And Amazon is number one. The methodology for this map is a little bit whack, but for NPS, it's, it's very reliable and it's actually one of the best predictors of how strong a brand is, how much money you're going to make. Everyone look for your state and see who the most hated brand is to see if you agree with it. So I'm noticing in California, it's Uber, which is funny that we quote unquote hate Uber, even though like there was a chance to finally make them pay their workers and they just spent a little money and made some ads and everyone voted the wrong way and Uber got off scot-free. <laughs> Mississippi hates Chanel. <laughs> North Dakota hates ESPN. That's, that's wild to me, but I assume it's because they're heavy users of ESPN. If I'm being honest... North Dakota hating ESPN is probably like uh, the athletes aren't standing for the flag <laughs> or ESPN. They didn't show the game I wanted to watch. It's not like ESPN, you know, I don't like their service. It's like they're doing something that pisses me off in the moment. Alaska hates Starbucks. <laughs> really? Are there Starbucks in Alaska? I assume so. There's got to be. Wouldn't you want or need coffee with a 16 hour night? Virginia hates Huawei. <laughs> That's hype. <laughs> Virginia's got, oh, you know what? This might be because Huawei like made a fake factory, I think. Didn't Huawei have that deal that they were going to quote unquote bring a bunch of jobs to America and then made a bunch of essentially fake factories and empty. They bought a bunch of office buildings and filled them with like four employees <laughs> just to fill the exact terms of the agreement so they could still fulfill the contract they made to bring quote unquote bring jobs to get the break. The next one's more up our alley because it's about gaming brands, most hated gaming brands. And I want to see if you guys can guess. We're going to start with Canada. What do you think Canada's most hated brand is in gaming? Game Freak. <laughs> Creators of Pokemon. And that's also in the United States. You know why I figured out what this is? People only mention Game Freak negatively. I looked this up. If you say Pokemon, you're happy. If you say Game Freak, you are almost certainly mad. No one has ever said, good job, Game Freak. If they say Game Freak, they hate you. They're always mad. I looked it up. So here's an example. I, I did some research. 
Here, I, I looked at almost, I just looked at all the Game Freak posts and they're all negative and they're always like the developer. But here's an example of one that would be classified as negative. And it's a guy, I guess, cosplaying as a Pokemon <laughs> who said, God damn it, I just heard a rumor I'm not going to be in Pokemon Legends Arceus. F Nintendo and f Game Freak <laughs> with a broken Switch. <laughs> Game Freak when people ask if they can use actual sounds. It's just all negative shit about Game Freak and their choices. These motherfuckers at Game Freak when you want to make a white wedding game. The Iron Curtain of Ubisoft is hated across all of Europe. And I think that's pretty, pretty accurate. <laughs> Where's EA? It's, it's crazy EA is not on here. And I don't know what to say about that other than it can't be 100% accurate because it's probably... Also, you got to figure, like, EA has FIFA, right? EA is FIFA and Madden. And that's a lot of people who aren't part of, like, what you consider the gamer block that are always bitching about, like, Star Wars Battlefront. Oh, fast food brands. Okay. Now, this is pretty common. This is actually, this is probably the most accurate one because people talk about fast food on social media a lot. There's not much you can debate on social media without people getting too mad. And fast food and, like, pineapple on pizza are, like, the two things. Uh, United States, bro, this has got to be because people are complaining about delivery. This has got to be. Uh, but it's Domino's. <laughs> Domino's in the United States, Orange Julius in Canada, which I actually, first time I agree with Canada, because Orange Julius is where I got arrested in Atlanta <laughs> when I was trying to steal the Orange Julius Wi-Fi in that mall. China hates Subway, which is just a declaration of war, really. Taco Bell, who's saying fuck? Mexico hates Taco Bell? <laughs> that makes so much sense. <laughs> A quote-unquote Mexican food company founded by a white guy named Glenn Bell who made basic-ass tacos. Taiwan, Pizza Hut, Philippines, Pizza Hut, Japan, Taco Bell. Bro, the reason Japan hates Taco Bell is because it's so bad there. I had Taco Bell in Japan and in Korea. They make it different. They, it's like they don't have cheese or something. I'm not sure what it is, but they make it different, and it tastes way worse. Why does Canada hate Orange Julius? Any Canadians want to tell me? Quack. Quack, chime in. Why does Canada hate Orange Julius? It's not good. <laughs> Quack's Twitter, a hundred rants on Orange Julius. Domino's in, Ita Domino's in Italy is really funny. <laughs> it's funny seeing Taco Bell being hated in Mexico and Domino's being hated in Italy. <laughs> that's, actually, that's actually fire, dude. <laughs> if I had to say globally what's the most hated, I feel like people... People shit talk Burger King more than anyone else in my mind, but I could be wrong. Nobody uh, gasses up Burger King. You know what I'm saying? People will say like positive things about everything else here. I've never heard, people always eat Burger King begrudgingly. Similar to Genshin Impact, if you expect dog shit, there's nothing to complain about. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I guess that's true. It's like who's going into a Burger King and expecting greatness and then getting on social media being like, I was so disappointed today. <laughs> I went in for my classic Whopper that I know is all-time great burger. <laughs> and it was only mid. <laughs> oh, there is tech brands. Although tech brands is literally... We can go this one quickly. Tech brands... Tech brands is almost all Microsoft. Probably Windows complaints if I had to guess. They say Facebook is also huge. Hashtag delete Facebook was trending and people try to get rid of it. Canada hates Facebook, which is based. Um, tech brands... Yeah, it's Google, Microsoft, Facebook basically across the entire globe. Not a lot of variety here. It's basically the four big tech brands of the world. So the actual most hated brand in the world could be Nestle. And I think primarily it's because globally they are major uh, exploiters of natural resources um, and water access. They bribe or otherwise coerce local governments into giving them access to water rights and then resell that same water back to the country at large markups. They also do extremely degenerate things like, degenerate's not even the right word, despicable things, convincing mothers in developing countries they should use Nestle formula for their baby rather than breast milk. Like they shouldn't, they shouldn't feed their own baby, they should use Nestle formula and try to make that, they actually run like PR campaigns to make it seem like it's unhealthy to not use sugary Nestle formula. <laughs> they specifically gave people a free a month of free formula so that mothers wouldn't be able to provide their own milk anymore. Yeah, it's crazy. They also have child labor for chocolate production. So the cocoa beans they use to make uh, Nestle chocolate is often uh, 
the product of child labor and uh, abuse. Over a 12-month period, water pollution limits were breached 2,152 times at Nestle factories. <laughs> These are limits they agreed to, and they breached 2,000 times in one year. <laughs> During the height of a famine sweeping Ethiopia, they tried to force Ethiopia pay them a $6 million debt. When Ethiopian government was dead broke and there was a famine, e uh, Nestle demanded a $6 million debt, which is nothing to Nestle and everything to Ethiopia. <laughs> Nestle makes a billion dollars a year on 29 different brands. By the way, if you don't know what Nestle makes, it's, it's pretty massive, the amount of things they own. Here's an example. Nestle, San Pellegrino, uh, Perrier, Hot Pockets, uh, Drumstick, Dryers Ice Cream, Kit Kat. All this shit is under Nestle. Nestle's a huge conglomerate. Nestle claims to be the world's leading nutrition, health, and wellness company. <laughs> when asked to make their cereal more healthy, they basically changed nothing. Slapped the logo saying whole grain guaranteed. <laughs> and it's the exact same sugary cereal. <laughs> but now it's whole grain guaranteed. <laughs> so you know it's healthy. I'm just going to go through the, the, uh, the top five here. And I think this is a more accurate way of determining um, hated companies. All right. Number five, most hated company in America, EA. <laughs> this is based on people that use it. This is more like an NPS type score. EA, number five. Number four, University of Phoenix Online, a for-profit college. These are scores based on people that actually use the product. All right. So it's not social media. It's like people that have used the product. People that spend money to go to University of Phoenix often feel cheated by the education they receive and their ability to get a job after graduation. They feel like they've been scammed out of their money and that makes them very angry. Uh, number three, this is funny. <laughs> this is probably for similar reasons to what we talked about earlier. The NFL. The NFL is one of the most hated brands. <laughs> now again, it's similar to gamers where we'll say we hate EA and then buy their games. People will say they hate the NFL and everything they've done to football over the past few years and then watch every game. And this is largely, I think, in probably political divisions and maybe changes to the sport to make it more, um, you know, probably less concussions. <laughs> and the people are pissed that, like, this is a baby game now. <laughs> Number two, Fox Entertainment Group has one of the lowest net promoter scores. People generally, outside of, I guess, the hardcore fans, have a very low perception of the Fox brand. And again, this all comes from something, uh, there's large divisions in the country that cause extreme negative feelings about one brand or the other. Fox at number two. And then number one, and I'm surprised by this, but this is, again, this is based on actual customer interviews, employee satisfaction, detail analytics. Yeah, I mean, this, this all seems real. Number one is Equifax. There was a massive hack and data breach that didn't affect me, so I didn't care about it. Maybe it caused a lot of people a lot of trouble. I guess if all people know about it is that they had a f terrible data breach. <laughs> they don't have a very strong brand. <laughs> so I could see that. I, personally, my number one, based on things that I've seen, is Comcast. Comcast and generally cable companies in general are universally hated. Almost everyone that has to regularly use a cable company dislikes them. They're a service they have to pay for and they don't like. And I found that to be, they are the only brands that can have that low of a score and stay in business because they have a, a total monopoly. Cable companies are the epitome of like, what are you going to do? <laughs> We're the only game in town at most places. Like, you're going to complain online? Like, what is your plan? <laughs> we'll close with this. This came from my researcher. This is a campaign by Nestle <laughs> because they got in some hot water over the... Uh, baby formula stuff where they were like tricking mothers into using formula and uh they made this campaign you know what my th theory i can't watch any more of this is absolutely awful you know what i think it is because nestle's a devious company is it possible this is a reverse ad to make breastfeeding seem worse <laughs> Is it possible that they were getting fined for their underhanded content and now they're like, okay, fine, we'll make an ad for breast milk to, to bring it back. And they made the worst possible ad they could ever make. You want all my master have super babies? <laughs> I can't believe this is real. <laughs>
Boils and Ghouls. That is the end of Marketing Monday. That is the most hated brand. Nestle and Comcast we're landing on. I think we can agree on that. Nestle, Comcast, could be our boys at EA. Uh.